That's also a very common question that I get from families. It can be a terrifying experience um, to have a patient or a child with epilepsy. And um, the, the natural and I think um, very um, immediate response is to want to make sure that that child is safe at all times. And first and foremost, I, I know that um, when it comes to family dynamics that the child feeling safe and the parent feeling safe um, are, are going to be up front, at least in the early time period following a diagnosis or following a, a seizure event. That's going to take um, the first and foremost role is that every family um, and every parent needs to feel safe. And so oftentimes, immediately following a diagnosis, I do have a lot of families co-sleeping. I do have a lot of families that will bring the child into the room just to make sure they're safe. And that can be helpful in the beginning time period because um, if a child is having seizures at night, the parent is usually there, is able to react, is able to gauge when did the seizure start, how long did it last, what, um, what occurred during the seizure, what did it look like, what we call seizure semiology. Um, and that can be very helpful to a neurologist in the beginning phases of an epilepsy to know what is seizure frequency, what does it look like, how, is seizure, how are seizures responding to the medication, how is the patient responding to the medication. In the long run, um, as I uh, said earlier, indicated earlier, the goal of um, medical care for patients with epilepsy is to try to encourage a normal and healthy lifestyle. And, what I will begin counseling my patients and my families about is different options that they have at their disposal to make that transition back to um, independent sleeping, if that's right for the family. Um, many options for some of my family members have included a baby monitor, um, even though it's not for a baby, but it will be hidden in the room with a child and the parent can hear if there's movement that sounds like a seizure. Um, some of my families will use the video monitors that are now on the market that also can be very reassuring in the earlier time period of an epilepsy. And so we like to encourage um, you know, healthy sleeping habits and healthy routines. And what's different for each family is, is also taken into consideration. But in large, we'd like for that family um, after the initial diagnosis of an epilepsy has been made to settle back into their um, pre-diagnosis routines.